Hi, I'm Pastor Anton Rose, Senior Pastor of the Ramey Hill Missionary Baptist Church, located here at 1495 South Crestview Drive in Snailville, Georgia. We're so happy that you joined us for our television broadcast. We would love to have you come and be a part of any one of our worship experiences. Our services are held every Sunday morning at 8 o'clock a.m. Our Sunday school is held every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Our mid-morning worship service is held every Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. Our Bible study is held every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. We would love to have you physically here to see what God has to do. Now, let's go into the sanctuary of the Ramey Hill Missionary Baptist Church and hear what thus says the Lord. Thank you, and may God bless you. Verse 1, verse 1 of Exodus 32, verse 1, Exodus 32. Amen. While you're standing, let's have a word of prayer. Then we go right into the word of God. Dear Father God, we thank you so much for these that are here today. God, we ask you to bless us as we go into this, your word. Give us a word today, Lord, that we can use and make relevant to our lives, God. Give us a spirit of application to hear what we have received today. Let somebody who is in need of Christ come forward saying, what must I do to be saved? Let me decrease as you increase within me. In Jesus' name, anoint me with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Verse 1 of chapter 32 of Exodus reads as thus. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up make us gods which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we want not what is become of him. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool. After he had made it a molten calf, and they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation and said, To morrow is the feast to the Lord. And they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat, to drink, and rose up to play. We're going to talk on the subject, all gold, everything. All gold, everything. A lot of y'all looking at me strange. Some of y'all don't know what that means. And then some do know what that means. Atlanta's own Trinidad James released his first single from his debut mixtape, Don't Be Safe, on December 20th, 2012. The young people know what I'm talking about. Right, young people? Amen. The single is entitled All Gold Everything. The song earned Trinidad James, and, and I know the older people, well, who is Trinidad James? That's a rap artist. He just signed a major deal with Jeff Def Jam recording records worth $2 million. The music video was directed by Motion Family and premiered on MTV Jams on November the 18th, 2012. And as of February the 27th, 2013, the music video had over 7 million views on YouTube. Prior to this, New Orleans rapper BG 
released a single on March 20th, 1999, featuring Hot Boys and Big Timer called Bling Bling, which the lyrics in the video focused on luxury cars, high price houses, and big time rims. Trinidad says in his verse, gold all in my what? Mouth? Chain. I see I got it all wrong. Gold, gold all in my chains. Gold all in my mouth. Rings. <laughs> gold on everything. Isn't that what Trinidad James said? Gold on everything. Gold around my neck. Gold on my shoes, gold in my mouth, gold on everything. And then the hot boy said, bling, bling. Look at my car, bling, bling. Look at my rims, bling, bling. See, y'all remember that? Okay, all right, we're trying to act real holy now, all right. But it focused, the rap industry focused on materialism. It focused on, for the past 10 years, on flashy possessions. If you look at the video, somebody is in an Escalade, a Navigator with rims chromed out. And then when they smile, you can't even see the TV screen because so many gold teeth in your face. <laughs> and so people walk around emulating what they see on television. And so as a result, the materialistic attitude have rubbed off even among our culture and even among our young people. And now everybody want to be blinged out. Everybody want, want to wear the long chains and the studded diamond rings on their fingers. And they want to be bling bling, gold on everything. And now the question becomes, have this materialism contaminated the theology even in our very churches? How can we avoid the slippery slope of prosperity gospel versus the slippery slope of materialism? How can we stand firm on the word of God? And let me say this real quick. There's a danger in adopting materialism in your lifestyle. Tell somebody, there's a danger, there's a danger. And it's called living above your means. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me in here. I got a light crowd today. But it's called living above your means. You got to have the Escalade. You got to have the Navigator. You got to have the rims. You got to have this. You got to have the gold teeth. You got to be blinged out. I can't go out like that. I got to be looking like this. I got to be like that. And you kind of get caught up in this materialistic attitude. Put God second. Put material possessions first. And I, I want to I wanna talk about first the signs of, everybody say the signs of materialism, the signs, the signs of materialism. The first sign is improper placement of material possessions over the emphasis, uh, or improper placement of material possessions or the overemphasis of material possessions in your life. Everybody say improper placement of material possessions. Look at verse 1 and 2. Look at it real quick with me. Look at our key verse here. It says that Moses delayed coming down out of the mount. The people got to, together themselves unto Aaron, said unto him, Let us make us gods which shall go before us. As for the Moses guy, he brought us up out of the land of Egypt. We don't know what happened to him. And Aaron said, Hey, break off your golden earrings, which are in your ears, ladies and of your sons and of your daughters and bring them to me. All right. So we see here placing, he placed material possessions over God and place of God. That's what they did. They placed material possessions and place of God. And see, watch this. Placing material possessions as a need and uh, produces a false sense of necessity as if you need something when in essence you really don't need something. Sometimes you will sell your soul to get something that you really don't need. As a result, a lot of ladies are tricked 
and slick by men that appear to have a whole lot of money. In fact, you say, he got to have a J-O-B if he want to be with me. Do I have a witness here? See, that's a, that's a song that y'all may not know about. But she said, you got to have a J-O-B. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. Hey, baby, what's going on? The rent is what's going on. Do I have a witness? The mortgage is what's going on. Amen. So you want, you, want, you want somebody that's blinged out so then they can bling you out. But see, it's not what's on the outside, but it's really what's on the inside because you can be poor on the inside, on the outside, but rich on the inside. See, it's what's in a man's heart that counts, not what he wear or what he drive or what's in his bank account because he can be blinged out and won't give you nothing. Do I have a witness? Y'all ain't saying that to me. You be thinking he gonna pay rent and he don't pay not one rent for you he don't do anything for you he do everything for himself because there's a lot of brothers out here that's doing very well but they'll put all that money on themselves I wish I had a witness and watch you get foreclosed on and evicted do I have a witness here today don't ever judge a book by its cover. Do I have a witness here today? He may look good. Hey, man, he may smell good, but he may not be good for you. Do I have a witness here? And brethren, she may look good, and may, she, may be, she may smell good, but she not, may not be good for you. See, God don't look it on the outside, but God look it on the inside. That's why he called David out of, well, when he was tending the sheep, he said, I don't look on the outside. Side, but I look on the inside. Let me pause right here and tell you here, right, real quick here. You don't need a man to pay your rent if he's not really gonna marry you. Do I have a witness here today? And I, and I, I really, I really realize that we have a lot of brothers going around flashing and flossing. Shot caller, big ball on 24. What is it? 24? I don't even know where they are no more. 30s, 24, 30. They, they're shot calling and ain't paid no child support in six months. <laughs> Do I have a witness here today? Pay your child support. Everybody say child support due. Child support. Child support due. Have you paid your child support? Do I have a witness here today? And so we got to realize that we live in a society that sometimes have a tendency to gravity, uh, gravitate to materialism. A second sign of, of materialism in your life, as far as your possessions is concerned, is that uh, possessions, assets, or your sources of money will occupy the position that God's supposed to occupy. You ever met somebody, they work overtime. <laughs> All they like working overtime. If they if there's a second shift, they want to be on it. Do I have a witness here today? If there's a double overtime payment, they want to do it. Forget about church. If there's a double pay, they'll do it. Don't even really need the money. Do I have a witness here today? But they're just working themselves to death. Forget about the vacation. Amen. Forget about spending time with their family, but their job becomes their God. You ever met somebody like that? Just work all the time. And when one began to put their source of income higher than their worship, they began to put things before the Lord. Do I have a witness here today? When they begin to treat people on their job better than they treat folk at their church. Y'all ain't saying that to me. Y'all quiet now. <laughs> but when we, they begin to put more emphasis, I ain't going to cut up at the, at the job. I wish I had a witness here. Stay away from that. No, nah, I'm going to go ahead and go there. I ain't going to cut up at the job, but I act a fool at the church. I wish I had a witness here today. I ain't going to lose my job. I'm going to make sure my rent pay. But you want to cut a fool up in here, up in here, up in here. But you got to go ahead and say, you got to choose this day who you're planning to serve. Watch this. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And I'm going to act like I'm serving the Lord. I'm going to let the world know I'm on the Lord's side. 
Do I have a witness here today? Tell somebody whose side you on. I ain't on nobody's side. Uh, Pastor Roe, who's I ain't on nobody's side. I'm on the Lord's side. Whatever the Lord say, that's what I do. Tell somebody, that's what I'm doing. Look what he says. He says that, 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 that the materialism, when they begin to put sources of income, when they begin to put the golden calf before God, and they so willingly switched over to this calf. That's what got me kind of confused, y'all. They, they, he delayed just a little bit. Hey, Amen. He delayed from coming off the mountain just a little bit. And then his delay, watch this now, his delay caused them to be misled and sidetracked. They, they, they got their mind off of what God just did. I wish I had a witness of that. They, they got their mind off of what God was doing for their congregation. They got their mind off of what God, how God was working things out for our good. And they got sidetracked with smaller issues. I wish I had a witness here. Y'all ain't going to go with me today. Preach on, Reverend Rowe. They got sidetracked with foolishness. I wish I had a witness here today. They got caught up in some minute things. They began to major in the minor instead of minoring in the major. I wish I had a witness. What that got to do with winning souls? I wish I had a witness today. What that got to do with bringing folks to Christ? Uh, if I can just help somebody along the way, if I can bring somebody to Jesus, that's what we're here for. It says here, hey, they got sidetracked and began to look at something that they can grab. Bible says in the last days, Minister Brown and they will have itchy ears. I wish I had a witness today. They will look for something to take the place of their God. Am I helping somebody here today? And then, and then another sign is that, look, watch this. Not only did, did, did they begin to worship this golden calf because of Moses' delay, but another sign is that they, they sacrificed themselves, their families. Do I have a witness here today? All for a personal agenda. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Preach on, Reverend Rowe. They, all because of something that, that, that was not really connected with God. But it was something that, 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 that they wanted to do. They wanted to worship uh, uh, this golden calf. And they involved their family. Look what they did. They involved their family members because look what it says. It says, and, and all the people, hey, they broke off the golden earrings. And watch, this is what they did. They said, they tell your wives. Y'all ain't saying that to me. Tell your sons and tell your daughters to break off their earrings and break off their jewelry and bring. Let, they involve their family and they, and they begin to break off their earrings and their jewelry and somebody begin to take off their chains and, and they begin to say gold on everything but we're going to be gold on calf now. We're going to go ahead and give everything to the golden calf and they begin to go and use their families and something about materialism you begin to sacrifice your children. Do I have a witness here? You begin to sacrifice your family. You begin to utilize people for your own agenda just so you can get what you're trying to get. And you got, here you are, amen. Here you are, you, you, you late bringing your kids to school, amen. And, and then they getting, but then you're focusing on making sure that nobody, when your kids scratch up your beans, you get mad. You want to fight them. But when they bring D's and F, you just let them go ahead and do that. Amen. They scratch up your little flat screen TV. You finally got your little flat screen TV. And they scratch up the flat screen TV. And then you have a fit about the flat screen TV. And let them bring in D's and F on their school girl. Right. Do I have a witness here today? Amen. You, we go in your house. We can't see in the front room. Amen. You got, you got plastic all on the couch. We got, you escort me all the way back. To the couch that got holes in it because you got this one all protected up. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying that to me. No, don't sit on the plexi. No, no, don't sit down. And when I come in your house, I got to take my shoes off. Y'all ain't saying that to me. Take your shoes off. I just vacuum. 
I can't roll your window down when I sit in your car. I can't, I can't roll it down because you know, no, 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 don't touch the window now. It'll be all right. Just, just, just learn how to deal with the heat. <laughs> because you're so materialistic. <laughs> Tell somebody to stop worshiping things and worship God. Amen. If they scratch up your car, don't worry about it. If they mess up the couch, don't worry about it. If they track mud in your, in, your, in your house, don't worry about it. Do I have a witness? We got to learn to put God first and stop worshiping the blessing and start worshiping the blesser. Do I have a witness here today? Because God can give you a biz today and take it away tomorrow. Do I have a, tell somebody things can be replaced. Turn to somebody and say things can be replaced. But you can't replace relationships. I wish I had a witness here today. You can't replace relationships, but you can replace things. So you have to focus your attention on God and making good relationships. Look what he says, and I'll be finished. He came down. And when they made the golden calf, look what happened. They rose up. And what did they do? They rose up early the next morning. Offered burnt offering, brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat, to drink, and rose up to play. Isn't that something? When they begin to put things before the Lord, they begin to sin against God. Tell somebody that's your next step. Make sure God is first in your life. Do I have a witness here today? God has to be first. And if it ain't about God, you don't really need it in your life. And so when they begin, when they took God out, they sinned against him by putting, when they began to worship the golden calf, they committed sins against God because they put that before the Lord. And that's what I came by to tell you today as I get ready to conclude. That God has to be first in your life. All the time. The door is open. I want everybody to stand. Give God a thunderous round of applause. <laughs> tell somebody God got to be first. In your life. God has to be first. God has to be first. The door is open. Is there one who never met Jesus? Never met Jesus in the pardon of your sins. Never met the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm waiting on you. As a candidate for baptism. The door is open. As a candidate for baptism. The door is open. The door is open. This is Pastor Anton Rowe again, Senior Pastor of Remy Hill Missionary Baptist Church. Hopefully you enjoyed the broadcast. Now we would love to have you here at Remy Hill for one of our services at 8 o'clock, 11 o'clock on Sundays, or our Bible study Tuesday night at 7.30. We look forward to seeing you next week on our broadcast. Tune in, same time, same channel. Thank you, and may God bless you.